वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जस्ट फ्लो विद जू वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माई न्यू ब्लॉग फ्रेंड राइट नाउ इट्स अ थाईलैंड सीरीज वे वी आर इन फुके थाईलैंड एंड टूडे वी हैव कम टू एक्सप्लोर ब्यूटिफुल कमला बीच इन दिस ब्लॉग यू विल गेट ऑल द नेसेसरी इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू विजिट फुके थाईलैंड और इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी इन फुके एंड प्लानिंग टू विजिट कमला बीच वी वर स्टेइंग नियर पतोंग बीच एंड फ्रॉम पतोंग बीच कमला बीच वॉज अराउंड टेन किलोमीटर्स ऑफ डिस्टेंस We took a taxi to Kamla Beach from outside the hotel and after bargain we decided to pay him around 300 baht. Other options to reach to Kamla Beach are like tuk tuk and a cab from Grab but usually Grab is quite costly in Thailand. Our ride was quite comfortable the driver dropped us on the road near the beach. Kamla Beach is located 26 kilometers away from Phuket downtown. Just north of Patong Beach Kamla is a rather quiet beach on Phuket's west coast. Nestled between rainforest-covered mountains and the Andaman Sea, we reached here during afternoon, and we did not find much crowd as that of Patong Beach. Kamla Beach is the epitome of paradise, with a population of around eight thousand people. This charming town is home to a mix of locals, expats, and tourists, all drawn to its incredible natural beauty and rich culture. Waters of Kamla Beach are clear and calm from November to April, which is the high season. surrounded by hills from both the sides giving it a more secluded and peaceful atmosphere this beach was completely different that of patong beach less crowd less noisy and fewer water activities if you like quieter and peaceful surroundings then kamla beach is perfect place to relax we were dropped by our driver quite early so we had to walk little bit to reach to the main part of the beach <music> winding road leading to the beach there are small hotels villas and apartments with great views of kamla bay so on the one side there were all cafes and restaurants going on and after crossing this cute bridge we were going to the main part of the beach here on kamla beach we found a number of long tail boats we did not find them on patong beach one can rent out these traditional long tail boats to explore neighboring beaches and islands these were the standard beaches and islands as well as water activities that these long tail boats covered and the time taken by these long tail boats for a ride was approx 4 hours long tail boats are best enjoyed in the low season jet skiing and parasailing are popular during the high season but note that many jet skiers have no insurance stickers any damage to the vehicle yourself or other water users will be your responsibility friends if you are enjoying watching this vlog then i request you to please subscribe my channel and support so Swimming is usually very safe on Kamla Beach. It's a good idea to leave the sea to surfers when you see red flags flying. In case you wish to relax or take sun bath before or after swimming, you can hire these chairs and umbrella from local vendors there at around hundred baht. The beach had fine white sand, but it also had fine gravels at the shore. There were also some vendors on the beach selling handmade products but the number of these vendors were quite less as that of the Patong beach. There were many sign boards for tsunami hazard zone on the beach. Must be due to 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami where Kamla beach was one of the worst hit beaches of Phuket. <music> Kamla beach had a beautiful long trail of coconut trees which were also giving shade to the people near the beach. There's an area with
with the hawker stall selling all kind of Thai Q signs, refreshments like coconut water, selling beach with, and also giving open Thai massage. Some stalls are selling at fixed price, while some are offering great discounts. Some of these stalls are also providing taxi services, but these fares will be quite high. Mostly here, the stalls are selling beach with for all the age groups. I wanted to buy a cap for my son, but it was quite costly and it was at fixed price, so we skipped buying it instead i bought a lower for me and it was very reasonable earlier the vendor said it to be some 350 baht but then i did bargain and bought this white lower at just 200 baht and then finally we decided to hydrate ourselves and had a nice coconut these coconuts are very sweet and at very reasonable price and lastly we took a tuk tuk to go back to our hotel at patong at some 300 baht we really enjoyed our ride in tuk tuk which is quite famous in thailand friends many more vlogs are already available on my channel you can please go and watch them if you like this vlog do not forget to subscribe for more future content see you on my next vlog bye take care